Shout out to the KJ fam. You're back once again rocking with Kristen, who's over there off camera today. Want to say hi? Hi, guys. And Jamil. And we are here, well, I'm here at least, for another mukbang. But not just any mukbang. I, I just don't feel natural saying that. <laughs> just doesn't feel right. But you guys know what it is. Uh, today, you guys, I am officially back. Although I'm not in my healthiest form right now, but I am back. Uh, I'm excited to be back. Um, unfortunately, guys, Kristen, unfortunately, has the bug. How are you feeling? Um, I'm okay. I'm just very stuffy and yeah. tired. So I'm going to go lay down, fam. But I'm okay. Don't worry about me. And I love you guys. Yes. It's... <laughs> Yeah, you guys, Kristen definitely had been doing... Okay, so, oh, could you do me a favor? Oh, yeah. Do you mind shutting the door, too? Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, good luck, Captain. Thank you, appreciate it. Sleep well. Um, so, yeah, you know, unfortunately, Kristen was doing a great job. We were keeping distant as much as we possibly can, and she was really killing it. I mean, for the last, for the first, I'll say, three days or so, she wasn't really having anything. Uh, and then we woke up this morning. I'm feeling so much better. And then, you know, she's starting to feel a little, little worse. So, anyways, it is what it is. Um, but you guys, I am here to tell you guys my truth about what happened to me <laughs> these last few days. Um, obviously, you know, with this, uh, with COVID going around, this is definitely no joke. Um, so I wanted to at least give you guys some uh, uh, kind of my story about how I felt and stuff like that. But I also want to say, shout out to literally everybody that sent uh, all of your comments and messages, you guys, I, was, I read all of them. Um, everybody was sending me well wishes and everything about getting better. Um, really appreciate it. Actually, people were giving some really great feedback too, um, at least some suggestions of things that you, that you can do just to feel better. Uh, one of those things is Mucinex, which I haven't got, I haven't tried yet, but I'm actually going to be drinking it because uh, I got the, in the drink form uh, I, literally as soon as I finish eating. So, and then I'm going to go back to sleep. So, anyways, uh, as you guys can see, I got to some food in front of me right here. Um, I thought I'd do something a little different. I didn't want to do anything. I mean, there are this is noodles, but I didn't want to do like too carby processed stuff. Um, so I did go to this place. It's called it's called Umi Ramen, and uh, obviously they specialize in ramen noodles. But they uh, you know Japanese restaurants, so they have sushi. They have all sorts of a, you know variety of different foods and stuff. Um, but this is the kimchi ramen noodles. Um, so that's why it's red, because it does have the kimchi in it, uh, which I didn't even, I mean, I know kimchi is red, but I didn't know it was going to come into the broth like, I didn't know it was going to make the broth red like that. Anyways, uh, but inside of it, um, there is, I believe there is, you know, I don't even know. Oh, here it is. Uh, there's, of course, the broth, ground pork, there's kimchi, green onions, bean sprout, so, uh, soft boiled egg, and pork uh, cashew. Chashu, something like that. Anyways, uh, it looks delicious. I'm about to dig in. I also got some pot stickers right here, some pork pot stickers. And uh, you guys, I'm going to tell you guys just what I've been up to. It really has been crazy. Um, I'm just happy to be back. Uh, and I also have some good news. I have some good news. Let me take a bite of this first and try this out. So this this time, um, uh, last time we had some, some uh, I mean, we had pho, I believe. And what we did was... We didn't let it sit in the broth long enough, the noodles. So because of it, it was all like, you know, hard and stuff like that. Not this time. This has been sitting there for a minute. So the meats cooked, everything is, and the broth was piping hot. So, mm. oh yeah. Oh, this is, oh, my tongue. Mm. I put my tongue. Oh, but it's so good. I gotta keep eating. Um, yeah, you guys, so I ended up uh, also with these noodles. They have it where you can do like a mild, original, just regular, spicy and extra spicy. I got mild. I don't want to take no chances. Mmm. Mmm. After all those spicy challenges... I don't trust getting regular spicy stuff anymore because I, I, just, I just can't handle it right now. <laughs> okay. Mmm. These are really good noodles. They're kind of like a, 
Well, not kind of. They are ramen noodles, of course, which I love them. Because they also have, I think I've gotten like noodle bowls and stuff before that had like angel hair, I believe, which is pretty good. But I, I don't know. I like the ramen a little bit better. I think I like that. Oh, let me show you guys what the pork looks like, too. So that's the pork right there. It's a pretty good size. I believe it's cooked. It better be cooked. Because I'm about to eat it. <laughs> mm. So, I feel like I was on vacation for a long time. It's crazy not being in front of the camera <laughs> for a while. And it's so weird to like do it by myself. Like I feed off of Kristen so much. We feed off of each other and go back and forth that it's just, it's just so weird, you know? But anyways, I try to keep you guys entertained as much as I can. <laughs> um, so, I started feeling sick. I should tell you. Today's Saturday, you guys. Oh, and I want to say this. You guys, we do have our slots channel. <laughs> And a lot of people are asking, because I've been putting out videos for the Slots channel, they're wondering if I've been going out <laughs> and gambling while I, while I have COVID. No. All of the, a lot of these videos we did actually before we actually started our channel, about a month before. So we're actually releasing some of the older footage. We definitely have not gone out. Uh, even Chris and I haven't gone out this whole time. Uh, we've just been inside quarantining, so and we're going to continue to do it. Um, so, yeah, no worries. We are not going out, getting anyone sick. We are staying inside uh, the whole time. Uh, other than, of course, I got Kristen sick, of course, but that's another story. Um, anyways, so Tuesday. Tuesday, I believe, I was um, I was editing. Well, actually, it was I guess it was, was a Tuesday? Tuesday morning and the day before. I, I hadn't gone to sleep for three days. I think I slept a combined total of about four or five hours. It wasn't much at all be, be between like three days, I think possibly even four days. So um, on Tuesday morning, about 8 a.m., I remember I was like exhausted, so I had to go to sleep because I was up the whole time editing and stuff. I go to sleep, um, wake up. And my nephew was visiting. Uh, you guys saw the video that we did, so shout out to you, Ben, if you're watching. Uh, but anyways, we uh, took him down to uh, the airport to, to take him, you know, uh, let him fly home and stuff like that. Mm. And at the time, I was actually feeling okay. Perfectly fine. My energy was there. Didn't have didn't have any issues or anything. Um, I got home and... What I thought was odd, which was really odd, was I actually wasn't even tired. And normally when I don't get sleep, especially on multiple days, I'm like really exhausted. But I wasn't tired at all. Kristen tell me, she's like, you should go to sleep. And I was like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really tired, right? But I was like, but maybe I should because I know we got to record some videos. So let me take a nap for a couple hours, wake up, and then we'll do that, right? Hmm. Sorry guys, this is gonna be one of those shows where I take one bite and go into a story in between bites. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, so I go, yeah, okay, so I lay, I'm laying down, go to sleep, and um, I remember like maybe about two hours in, I wake up because I got to use the restroom. I remember waking up and being like, man, I'm like really foggy, extremely foggy. My back, lower back kind of hurt a little bit, which was really odd, but yeah, I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, of course, I'm like just really tired. So I go, you know, use the restroom and everything, go back, lay back down, fall back asleep. And I think I slept for another two hours after that. And when I woke up, you guys, my whole, my whole back felt like I had been lifting weights like crazy my legs felt like i ran miles <laughs> i was my i was jacked up <laughs> like i couldn't i could barely walk and i remember um because i think kristen lay down too at that point i'm walking um to the living room and i felt like i had some like iron boots on like it felt like something was like that like the gravity was like pulling me down and stuff so that was really crazy the feeling of that and um, 
also my my head is just foggy like it's just it's it's borderline blurry vision oh and i got a massive headache so it was it was weird <laughs> and here's the thing you guys like <laughs> i've i've woken up with like not like that but like uncomfortable so i don't even i didn't even think twice i was just like i don't know maybe when we walked to the airport maybe i walked a lot more than i thought <laughs> or you know Something I don't I don't know I don't know I wasn't really thinking as to why I was that sore other than I was thinking I was just really tired you know so I hung up for hung up for a few hours uh, Kristen gets up to um, around pretty much right after I get up and um, you know I'm telling her like I'm like really exhausted and she's like let's just not do a video tonight um, you know since we had one already and, and you know ready to go for the next day so I was like. Okay, I, w I won't do a video, but stupid me, like, I stay up to, like, 3 a.m. anyways, and, and by the way, like, when I, you know, uh, I think when I originally got up, it was, like, 8 o'clock, I stay up to, like, 3 a.m., Kristen's, you know, in the bed, like, you need to get to bed, I was like, okay, uh, I'll, get to, I'll get to bed, I'll get to bed, I'm foggy, back hurting, I can barely sit down, because I was so messed up, I'm, like, rolling on the ground, trying to, like, look at YouTube videos, <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> So then um, I finally lay down, I wake up, and it's the same bad headache. You know, I wake up in the morning, of course. I wake up about, I think I woke up like around like 7, 8 a.m. or something, and back hurting. Everything's just messed up. Everything's really messed up. So um, I'm still thinking I'm fatigued. Didn't think much else other than that. And Kristen's like, hey, you need to take a COVID test because you might have COVID. And I'm just like... It doesn't really feel like that's what this is. You know, I, I, it's not like I... I mean, it just didn't feel... It didn't feel like it. It felt like I was just really tired. Um, take the rapid test and literally, like... It, it didn't even... Because you're supposed to wait, like, the 15 minutes after taking the test. It, it just... The line just showed up really quick. So I maybe... I, I don't know. Maybe I had I had it pretty badly or something. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um... um at that point, um, Kristen and I were um, in the same bedroom together. We were hanging out, um, you know, really close and stuff like that. But the moment we figured it out, I, had to, I went to the other bedroom. Pretty much we separated everything, you know. Mm. These things are fire, by the way. It was so good. Man, I'm going to this place again. Kristen's missing out. Um, anyway, so so pretty much, once I figured out what it was, I was like, "Oh, this makes sense." So <laughs> so pretty much, um, Kristen, you know, orders all this stuff, all this, um, you know, every, you know, things, food and things like that. Orders it, um, which is really cool. I I don't think we even realized it. Uh, DoorDash um, connects to like at least at least here, it connects to Albertsons, which is like a grocery store out here. Um, and I think other grocery stores too. And you can actually get, have the delivery, order whatever you want, and they'll deliver it just like DoorDash to your house. So we were able to get, um, yeah, we were able to get just pretty much a lot of things, you know, fluids, you know, uh, Powerades and lemons and all sorts of different things that teas and stuff like that that I was going to need for the next few days. And literally, I think Wednesday and Thursday. I just, I just pretty much slept for the most part. I slept. I don't really do much else other than that. I mean, oh, you know what I did do? I watched, um, I watched Loki, which is a Marvel show on Disney Plus. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's actually really good. But anyway, that's a side note. But pretty much I just slept and you know, watch that show and kind of chilled. Um, but, um, you know, what's interesting too is I'm, I'm <laughs> usually, you know, I'm working on like editing videos or we're, we're working on a video or we're doing something that has to do with the videos a lot of times, right? And a lot of times I'm just like, man, I just want a break, right? I don't want to constantly do this every day or whatever is going through my mind. Like I just want to break today or something. But honestly, sleeping for two days 
I was like, I'm so bored. <laughs> Although I was like tired, I was just like, I was like bored. I wanted to record. I wanted to like do some stuff, but you know, obviously I got to heal, so I didn't do that. So, anyways, so long story short, um, rested for the two days. You know, I started feeling great by the third day. Um, and then today, I feel very good. The only thing about today now is, um, as you can probably tell, my throat is, um, or maybe you can't tell, I'm not sure. I, I haven't lost my voice completely, but it's kind of, you know, it's a little raspy, a little bit. A little hoarse, I should say, a little hoarse. Um, and on top of that, I do have a little congestion. Nothing crazy. I do want to say that too, because um, a lot of people were saying like, hey, make sure you check your breathing. Make sure that, you know, it's not like, you know, the congestion isn't like coming in too strong where you can't breathe, which thank you to everyone that did suggest that because I wasn't thinking about that. And I did monitor it. I did check it. Um, and, you know, fortunately, you know, everything obviously at the moment is okay. Um, and, you know, we're doing the same with Kristen. We're monitoring hers and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so the so everything was the good there. Everything's, you know, for the most part good. I just, you know, like I said, I have a little bit of congestion too. My nose is, you know, stopped up and stuff like that a little bit. Um, but, you know, but other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Mm. Yeah. Definitely feeling better. Um, that my, the achiness though, you guys, was crazy. That took... That took probably three days to go away. Um, I talked to my friend this morning. He said he got it really bad too, COVID really bad. And um, he said his ache was about a week. It took like seven days just for the, the pain to go away, which is it's just crazy that, you know, it can take that long. Because, I mean, I've had the flu before where I've had body aches and it's never lasted more than two days. Maybe... I, I would even say one and a half for the most part. I don't even think a full two days. Um, so, you know, for something like this to last so long, you go into three days for me, which isn't even apparently that long. Apparently some people had even longer than that. Um, yeah, that, that was that was definitely concerning, you know? Mm. Yeah, oh, and then I did have, I did have a mild fever. Um, I think when we checked, oh, this is actually, let me say this. So I actually checked the fever like uh, the day after. So, um, you know, like I said, how I didn't take the test until, you know, I woke up that next morning. Uh, fast forward to the evening, I actually took my temperature then. And I think it was at 104. It was about 104, um, which isn't the end of the world, but it is, it's, it's getting there, getting up there, you know. Um, but... I actually think if I had taken the test when I first started feeling foggy and my head was like pounding, if I had done the temperature, I think it would have been like 101, maybe 102 even. Oh, did I say that right? It was 100.4. I don't know if I said that right. It was That's what it was. Anyways. Mm. So, yeah, you guys. Pretty much that's that was the story. That's what I've been going through. Mmm. These last few days, um, definitely prayers out to everyone who was dealing with COVID right now. Definitely wishing you, praying for you for a speedy recovery, um, and just recovery in general because it's just, you know, this is just such a, it's a crazy time with this illness, you know. So definitely everyone who, and I, and so many people, by the way, who was what, what who did send well wishes. So many people were saying they just had it maybe a week ago or a month ago or something like that. So, you know, you guys definitely, you know, please stay safe out there, you know. Definitely stay safe. Mm. Wow, this is really, really good. Mm. So, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm just going to... Keep resting. Um, stay inside still. Definitely not going anywhere. Um, uh, yeah, we just, you know, we keep door dashing whatever we need. Um, and then, and then, I want to show you guys this. 
Uh, so my friend sent me this today, which is actually pretty good news to wake up to. There's a show called, it's on Disney Plus. It's called like Becoming, it's called Becoming, which is an original series. Anyways, there's a song that I have called Bright Lights that they actually used on the, on the trailer, on one of the trailers, I guess. I'm going to play it for you guys. Um, I hope I don't get demonetized for this. We'll find out. Here we go. Even before it was over, I think I was like, I want to be Simba. I want to jump around on stage and do flips and sing and dance. He seems so cool. He leaned toward my wife and I and said, I want to be Simba. And I said, if you want to be Simba, just work hard at it. He looks up at me and goes, okay. He was very, very persistent about it. I think that's pretty much it. Then it goes into another story. Um, but but that's crazy. Um, so pretty much, this is a song I did with my friend. Shout out to Las Venus, by the way. Joel from Las Venus, shout out to you. Um, he made this happen because he works with a lot of um, different, I guess, media companies that you know work with music to get on TV and stuff like that or shows. Um, but anyways, this song that him and I recorded, no joke. Man, it was like 15 years ago? No, it could have been 15 years ago. It was a long time ago. Kristen, how long ago did I record Bright Lights? Was it that long ago? I was like 21? Wow. No, I think it was like 20. Okay, anyways. Sorry, fam. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I recorded it. Um, I re I recorded that song. Yeah, like Kristen said, about thirteen years ago. Anyways, I still can't believe it's that long ago. Uh, but yeah, I recorded that song um, with another rapper uh, artist. Shout out to Tough Love too. He was on there as well. Um, but anyways, we um, recorded that, and it was just something we just put together and really didn't do much with. Uh, my friend took it and got it got it placed, and I think it's been placed on a couple TV shows so far. So it's been pretty good. It's been pretty cool. So, that was definitely some good news to wake up to. Also, I don't know if I've ever, I think I mentioned it when I first started doing videos, but I had, um, years ago, there was a song uh, that I worked on with the same guy. Same guy. Uh, it was called Time Machine. Um, anyways, it was the, the, uh, the uh, instrumental was the theme song for T.I. and Tiny's show. If you guys know T.I. and Tiny... Uh, they had a TV show on VH1 for the first, I think, three seasons. They actually played the, um, the the song that you know my song pretty much was their theme song, which was pretty cool. So to, to see that for like three seasons, that was like really really big. That was pretty cool. So yeah, I, you guys, I definitely would think if anyone is out there interested in music and stuff like that, get into um, TV and films the scenes if you can because uh, it's it's. I mean, they're so they're always looking for new music all the time. I like they can't get enough of it essentially, you know, which is pretty crazy. So it's been pretty good. I've had stuff on like um, I've had stuff on VH1, a lot of stuff on VH1. I think Basketball Wives. Um, I had it on. I think The Real World. I've had it on quite a few different things on VH1 and MTV for the most part. I think I even had a, something in a movie. I think. I can't remember, but anyways, um, so yeah, you guys, I, you know, that was pretty cool. I just thought I'd show you guys that. Um, anyways, you guys, I think I'm wrapping it up here. I'm about to just take one more bite. Mm. This was delicious. Highly recommend this place. What's it called? Umani? Umani, I think. Umai. Umai Ramen. U-M-A-I Ramen. If you are in Vegas and located in the area close by, definitely check it out. I think it's really good. Um, other than that, guys, once again, thank you guys. Everyone who sent 
well wishes, um, checking on me and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Still not 100%. I've uh, got to get some more rest and stuff like that. But hopefully you will see us in a video together, hopefully in maybe the next few days. I don't know. But I know one thing. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do it. have to probably do another video tomorrow since Christmas is going to be out. So I'll try to do something kind of fun, something a little different. I'm not sure what, but I'll try to do something. Anyways, guys, I think that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharing is caring. That's Is that our intro? Is that our outro? Let the K&J know what... Let, no, no, let everyone know what the K&J fam are doing. Obviously, I listen to Kristen all the time when she does the outro. Apparently, I don't. <laughs> Anyways... Until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> and until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm. <laughs> Peace out, guys. I don't know how to end this without Kristen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Peace.